Welcome to Time Out for Marriage. You know, in the midst of the daily responsibilities of life between work, those of us who have children at home, possibly elder care, um, attending to our extended families in different ways, we often take our husband or our wife for granted. And it's very, very important as we keep in mind that our spouse is our closest neighbor, that the marriage relationship needs to be attended to on a daily basis. Our marriages need to be watered and fed and nurtured. And here's one idea for daily nurture of married life. And that is to take about five to 10 minutes each day, usually better at the end of the day in the evening to have meaningful conversation that can begin with what was most life-giving or what was the best thing in your day today? And then followed by the question, what drained you the most today? What was the worst thing about your day? And to discuss one, with one another both of those. Um, this is a way that we open up our hearts to our spouse in ways that have nothing to do with daily responsibilities or the exchange of information that we need to know from one another for the, the household to function in a, in a healthy and um, structured way. But these are ways where we give one another the opportunity, not just to ask the question, you know, how was your day? But what was the best thing? What was the worst thing about your day? And sometimes as we begin this conversation on a daily basis, we begin to see patterns that emerge of what is most life-giving and most life-draining. And that can then lead into the conversation of how is God working in our lives? What is he trying to teach each of us in our lives through those things that either bring life or tend to drain life from us. So, in the words of marriage specialist William Darty, he says that the 95% of the most successful couples spend at least 10 minutes a day in meaningful conversation. Let us begin that meaningful conversation. Create a sacred space just for husband and wife on a daily basis, no matter what the responsibilities we have.